Breaking news now at four. What was supposed to be a controlled explosion of illegal fireworks goes terribly wrong. The massive blast sent debris flying through a South Los Angeles neighborhood. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman and for Chris Schauble, welcome to the early edition of the KTLA Morning News. And I'm Lynette Romero in today for Megan Henderson. At least 17 people, including LAPD officers, were injured in this blast. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is live at the scene uh, to show us what happened. Good morning, Carlos. Hey, Eric and Lynette, good morning. Still a very active scene here this morning in South LA. Several hours after that explosion, the dramatic explosion happened here. Take a look. You can see the yellow tape LAPD here, along with uh, fire department personnel, search and rescue teams as well, doing their part, making sure everything uh, is going smoothly. You can see debris on the ground as well. We are waiting this morning for personnel from the uh, alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosive uh, agents with that uh, um, bureau to get here. They're planning to go arrive uh, later this morning, trying to assess the, uh, the structural damage to buildings, residences, uh, businesses, you name it here. They have a, a, a long way to go here this morning. We're hearing from detectives as well uh, just a few moments ago, but take a look and a listen to that dramatic explosion that happened in this very neighborhood. Uh, the major explosion damaged buildings, cars, and injured 17 people, including police officers, as a bomb squad tried to safely detonate and improvise explosive devices that had been seized from a home along with nearly 5,000 pounds of illegal fireworks. In a news conference late last night, Los Angeles Police Chief Michael Moore uh, announced uh, that Officials responded to the home on the 700 block of East 27th Street yesterday afternoon. An LAPD bomb squad transferred the devices into a vehicle that's meant to contain explosive material. A police detonated the devices around 7.30 last night, thinking that the vehicle would contain the explosion, but clearly something went wrong. Officials say nine LAPD officers and an officer from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives were treated for minor injuries and are in fair condition this morning. Six civilians were also taken to a hospital, three with serious injuries and three with minor. One civilian was treated but was not transported. Uh, residents in the area last night were seen running out their homes with their hands covering their ears. I was laying in the bed and then the whole building was just like boom, like super loud. And then all my neighbors ran outside. We thought, I thought a big rig had hit the side of the building. I live like right there across the street and then I just hear a big explosion and then like breaks my window, my glass mirror window. And then I was just like, oh, I came running outside and I was like, damn, what's happening? I didn't think it was a firework. It sounded more like an earthquake, you know, because I never felt a, a firework like that. And now APD says Arturo Cejas, the third, a man in his 20s, has been arrested on suspicion of reckless or malicious possession of a destructive device and is being held on $500,000 bail. LAPD also investigating who provided the explosives to Cejas and how they were brought to the neighborhood. This morning, police are still trying to figure out what exactly went wrong in containing the devices to the vehicle and caused the explosion. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti saying on Twitter he's monitoring the situation and is directing the LAPD to conduct a full investigation on this. Uh, back out of here live, we just heard from LAPD detectives this morning. They will be giving us an update in about 10 minutes or so to give us the very latest.